been in Miami for, uh, for like what, 10 hours now? Today has drained me already. Today is just wild already, but we made it mm -hmm. to Art Basel and we are getting ready for our first event. We're going to um, Daily Row... Front Row. Sorry. <laughs> Daily... <laughs> So we're I going like to. This is every fucking vlog. I'm correcting your name. <laughs> the names of events, I'm, like brands. I'm dyslexic. So yeah. So we're going to the Daily Front Row X Lagos Jewelry. Um, they're having like a dinner party type of event, and we're just getting all you know glam. Um, mm -hmm. and then right after that, we're going to a cocktail event with Armani. So we're all ready. So today, basically, we landed at like around 9.30 a.m. We came to our hotel and they were like, oh, your room's not ready, which we expected because check-in was like around 4 o'clock. So we're like, okay, no worries. We dropped off our bags and we're like, okay, let's go shopping. First, let's go eat. So we went to Habitat and had a lovely brunch. And then we went to the Webster and spent a, a whole bag. <laughs> Thinking life was great, just having a fabulous no old time. Worry in the world. And then we come back to our hotel to check in finally. And then, hold on. Because it's four at this point. So we come back and then they're like, oh, your room's still not ready. As a matter of fact, um, there's still um, someone occupying. Yeah, somebody already in the room and they're, they haven't checked out yet. We're like, well, what's the problem? You told us all day that they were cleaning the room and that it would be ready by four. And basically, there is some sort of miscommunication of some sort. And the guy at the front desk was just all over the place. He ended up giving me a key to the room so that I can go check myself. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go roll up in there. I go in the room. I knock, knock, knock. No one's answering. I walk in and there was like somebody's like whole suitcase and like their clothes laid out on the bed, shoes everywhere. I was just like, I got, I ran up out of there. But right? get this. He told us, I don't want both of you go guys going up there because well, he didn't only want one of you. He didn't want us scaring this man that's occupying. I was like, okay, I'll go up there and I'll just see, like get some answers because at this point nobody's giving us any answers. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'll go ahead and go talk to this person and just see like what their story is Why because squatting. that's our room and I want to see if he's under the impression that, that that's his room so that we can create a full story out of this situation. So anyways, there was Which nobody in the room. wanted to get his side of the story. I wanted to get the full scoop, but no one was in uh, no one was in the room, but there was a whole bunch of stuff in insert there. Insert picture. I will insert his photo of all of his things. But anywho, now we're in our French and A's um, room getting Manager. ready. Our, our manager Don't actually and then um yeah she was kind enough to just kind of let us come and stay with her and Otherwise, like get we ready getting ready on the streets we would like we're literally homeless right now you guys and we have to be somewhere in 30 minutes so luckily we pulled ourselves together because the girls always just you know Deliver. they're always serving uh, <laughs> No matter what the situation is, we gotta serve, we honey. Serve homeless. But yeah, we're homeless, but we look fabulous, and that's all that matters. But yeah, guys, come along with us. It's our first Art Basel, and we are so excited, and we're gonna document everything and share everything with you guys. Hopefully, so. we're not homeless by the end of this night. And yeah, well, have been resolved. That man is out of the room, and. Yeah, we turned into like a couple of Karens, got the managers involved, everybody's on the case now. I started Everybody crying. Is, yeah, she started, she's so dramatic, but we I really like, needed that. He, uh, when I asked for the manager, I was like, listen, I told him the story about how the guy gave us the room. I was like, he sent my sister up there. And she was and so was terrified. There was a man stuff. What if he was in there? What if she got hacked? And then they were like, he gave you guys the a room? key to go in there yourselves? That is just ridiculous. So I, we're, I, I think I he's going to get fired. Yeah. I mean, I don't want anyone losing their jobs, but this is just like not fair for us. We're homeless. Yeah. Keep in <sighs> mind, we had like $10,000 of stuff, which is fine on us. And our three suitcases. <laughs> and then we saw, we ran into a sweetie while we're fighting and crying. And she's like, oh my God, the Yusuf sisters, I love y'all. We're like, we, we love, love you too. too. And then we're like, what are we going to do? <laughs> Yeah, so that's 
basically what happened today. So stick around for more. Okay, bye. You're not even in the party yet. <laughs> Say you don't wanna get in trouble. That you don't find cause you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble. But you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes. Your head is full of dreams. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let got ready for our events for the night um, we didn't really vlog much today because we were both just so busy working um, we had a bunch of things we needed to do mm -hmm. um, but yeah so we are not homeless anymore update we have a home we have a home now we finally got we our room somewhere. but guess what we checked into our room at 11 p.m. last night yeah the guy was literally squatting like the previous guest of this suite was like refused to leave or some sort of i don't know some sort of mishap and we got caught in the crossfire yeah so the good news is that we're not homeless anymore and we're much happier but i swear there is something going on in the universe because everything Thing has been happening has us. been happening to us and like, nothing ever happens to us where we never have any problems with anything yeah. life is just always so chill and then all of a sudden the universe just unleashed on us yeah like just random things keep breaking like her curling iron that she's been using for the past <laughs> my 10 entire years, life just like randomly like broke and my lotion won't open so her I'm lotion like, literally won't open when you open the lid it goes it like pops, it cracks but like it still stays on um what else has been happening um my just so many fights just 
just a lot of like all of our packages from the brands like all the outfits that we're supposed to be like getting like Nothing the events came. that we're getting dressed for like all the packages are missing and then also i called i called for um uh instacart and oh my god <laughs> she ordered um and food and it literally it just came i i went to go get it and then basically the guy was like, oh, I'm outside. I was like, okay, where? And then the customer service person was like, oh, let me let me find out where he is, where the driver is. I'm like, cool. I'm walking around, waiting. Literally 30 minutes later, they tell me, yeah, your food went back to the store. And I'm like, but why? I'm here. Um, because he couldn't figure out where the um, entrance was. So we're going to have to send you a new driver. I'm like, cool. What time? They said 9 p.m. <laughs> she at ordered point, at 10 a.m. It's like 10. But yeah, anyways, another trauma dump for you guys before we head out. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. We're going to obviously show you guys all of our shenanigans that we get into. So we'll see you in a bit. change in the back seat of our car there's Miss Deha Hello. we're wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier and we're looking like two twins <laughs> we're looking like a couple of twins we'll show you guys our full outfits when we get outside hey again guys we're wearing bikinis we're in Miami it's bikini season <laughs> Woo no, you're girls got wild <laughs> girls in bikinis bikini babes how fun are these prints yeah. like what the hell and it just like I feel like it makes our bodies look crazy I like, know it's all an it's, it's, it's an, an illusion. illusion it's an optical illusion for real but yeah. hold on let me prop my Look camera up it's okay looking at us like no 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 it's rounded it's rounded it's gonna fall it's rounded okay oh my god that is a huge ass for us come we, you can't even see you I'm just <laughs> see I'm just taking risks for y'all I just propped my camera on this <laughs> I look I who's I saw here hi. Hi, beautiful friendly hi girlies in the most stunning dress so beautiful and in Christopher Esper Christopher Esper stunning 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 obsessed <laughs>
back in our room. We're back in bed. Mm-hmm. Mr. has eating. Having a I'm eating a tortilla chip. She's having a midnight snack, but who child, we are exhausted. Today drained me. I don't even I have no words. Like I don't even know why I'm here. I and have no update for you guys. I'm just And a man just called me a fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, she just literally got verbally assaulted by a, man a very that small I man. The door for. A very small man. Can you just tell? Can you tell the story? It okay. Was quite. Maybe you bizarre. guys can chime in. Okay. I wasn't there, or else I would have been like on his back. Okay, so <laughs> Nunai and I, we were getting out of our car, and so she had to pay the driver, right? So I was like, I need to go because I really gotta pee. So keep in mind, I've been holding my pee in for like an hour. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go. You handle the whole bill thing, and then. I'm walk I walk up to the to the door of the hotel and it's like a side door so you need your key to get in your card. Um, I put my card in and as I'm putting my card into the thing, this guy comes literally running from behind me and then as I put my card in the door, he opens the door for me, right? We're both on the same side of the door. So he opens the door for me to hold it for me. Keep in mind, I really have to pee and I'm not even thinking about anything else but literally just getting to the bathroom. So I run into the door because he's holding it for me. And then as I walk by him, he says, when someone holds the door for you, you say thank you. And, and then it's like, were, but you wouldn't have even been able on. to get into the door without your key. Me. So then I'm like, I, I kept walking. And then all I hear is these other guys like saying like, oh, like it's high school. So then I turn around and I'm like, excuse me. And then he's like. When someone opens the door for you, you say thank you. And I'm like, except I open the door for you. And then as I finish my sentence, he like yells, when someone opens the door for you, you say thank you. And I'm like, I didn't say anything after that. I keep walking and there's like a few steps. I keep walking up, I get to the, bottom, the top of the steps and all I hear him say is fucking bitch. And I was like, literally flabbergasted because i'm like what like why i'm the one who first of all, why are you calling me a fucking bitch for not saying thank you like so then i turn around and i'm like i'm so sorry you need attention tonight and that short man syndrome has you in a motherfucking chokehold but you're not getting no attention from me nor are you getting a thank you good night and Whoop. then all the, the those two guys that were saying earlier they're like i get it like so childish the whole situation I just kept is running because just... i literally almost beat on myself like who do you think you're ta why would you call me that like what did i do to you what on earth my god guys but so let me guys let me know who opened the door did i open the door for this man or did he open the door for me i mean there was i think you gave him access to open the door for you right but i didn't even ask him to he open did it for me. physically open the door right but i didn't ask but you, him but also like you don't owe anybody anything like first of all i didn't ask this man he was it, he was very petty like he could have just been like oh well whatever like that like it's his opinion to find that rude that you didn't say thank you but he didn't have to yell at you he, he was he did worse he called me a fucking bitch <laughs> in the middle of the night <laughs> Like a lady that's by herself. You're gonna right. just, I was like, like I was like literally my heart stopped. I'm like an effing B word? What? Me? Now you censoring yourself after you like After yeah. I said it like I said it. <laughs> but like literally I was so shocked I no stranger man has a black man, keep in mind, has ever called me that. I'm just like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so that happened. It's like this this um, entire trip. The wildest shit keeps happening to me. If you guys are into astrology or anything like that, so today is what? What's the date? December 1st? No, it's still December. It's still, is it still November? November 30th. I don't even know. But anyways, can you guys tell us if there's something going on with like the universe or like, what is all that the saying? stars and all those things. What is that things? saying? Mercury in some sort of a position? Yeah. Can you guys tell us like what's going <laughs> some on? Some sort of a position. Because everything is just upside All down yeah but anywho so 
we went to the last event, which was um, a party with Farfetch. Um, but there was like the wildest line. And somebody with a megaphone. And then like, so we got in line thinking like, oh, okay, the line is going to move, whatever. Like we're on the list. It, we'll eventually go inside, right? It wasn't moving for like a good, what, how long? We didn't stand in the line. Yeah, so the line was too long and we were tired. So somebody with a megaphone ended up getting on, on and they were like, move back, move. So then it kind of, we're, we're just, we were over it. So we ended up just going we're, home. And plus we're just so tired. Yeah, we ended up just calling it a night. Um, and now we're back in our hotel room. Our apartment, uh, allegedly. <laughs> Guys, this place was advertised as an, like, uh, as an apartment, but it's literally a hotel room. It's basically a studio. Yeah, there's like a tiny little kitchenette. I mean, I would show you guys, but it's really messy in here. Like all of our clothes are everywhere and like just, it's not cute. But anyways, just wanted to sign off for the day and say good night. If you're still watching, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and we will see you guys in the morning. As promised, I'm going to give you guys a room tour. So here's the front door. You walk in, there's like a little dresser here where you can store your things. There's a small hallway. And to your left, there's a decent sized bathroom that has a bath, really big sink area, and it also has a shower. And then when you walk into the rest of the room, there's a closet here. There's a TV. There's the bed. It's definitely not an apartment. It's like a basically a hotel room with like a king bed and like a sofa bed there's another closet and then there's like a work desk here with an iMac which is super cool oh and then there's like this little kitchenette area here with like a fridge some storage down there a microwave and then there's like dishes like cups and plates and bowls up there so I guess that's why they're able to call it an apartment um, and then there's also a balcony and the view is pretty amazing today's like super humid and like kind of gloomy but there's like a seating area here and look at this view this is my favorite part So that's the view, and then here's the room from this angle. So yeah, just thought I should show you guys that just in case anybody's interested in getting this place, but just be careful because you guys heard what happened to us. <laughs> so if you're going to book it, just remember, it might be a little, a little bit of a hassle, but otherwise it's a really nice room. We're enjoying our stay now.
So we're blue. Da da do da da da, and I'm blue. You'll get it when you see us. No, Come you'll look. literally understand. Yeah. Okay. Look we're blue. <laughs> <laughs> we came here just for you. So we're blue. we're blue. We're back on the, what is it? Miami Design, Design District. Um, and we are attending our second event for the night, which is Tiffany & Co. So let's go. Let's go. Let's get into it. We're crossing the street right now. And yeah. 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 And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. wisdom. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. For sure, for sure. We all have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. Sorry. This is the end. Yay. Uh, we made it. It was a very rocky start, but we actually had a really good time. Yeah. Um, we'll definitely be coming back for Art Basel. Yeah, for sure. I think this is a must. Um, and we made it on Vogue. Oh my God. <laughs> Our one fire outfit made it on Vogue.com. So I mean, we had other fire outfits. Don't yeah, us like that. That's true. That's true. But yeah. Um, if you made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm headed home. That's my next stop. But you are headed to Tulum, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy that vlog because that's coming up right after this. But sorry, our memory card ran out of memory. But anyways, um, we'll see you guys in our next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye. I will see you in Tulum. <laughs>